Hi, Geminis. For those of you who are new to my page, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. This is your love and relationship reading. And I just want to say happy birthday to all of the Geminis out there. If you have a birthday today or this month or this week, I hope you are enjoying your day. Um, opposed to all of this uh, craziness that's going on with COVID-19 and everything being shut down and, you know, not being able to travel the way you want or just celebrate um, and do the things that you planned or, um, you know, had an idea for. So um, I feel your pain because I just had a birthday and I wasn't able to do much. So, but I'm going to celebrate as soon as things open up. Okay. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have the same idea in mind. All right, so let's jump into your reading, Geminis, okay? Um, the first message card that I have here for you is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? You also have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and... It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I'm sorry, give me one moment. I just want to close the window because it's like right when I started you guys reading, then like all this noise just came out of nowhere. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that, Geminis. Now, with the forgiving and learning, love yourself first, and it is safe for you to love. Um, I feel like some of you are trying to heal from something that you went through with a partner or with an ex, if this person is um, someone you're no longer with, okay? And this card is saying, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you're being told that it's okay to leave this behind. Okay, to heal from it, to learn the lesson, heal from it, and move on. Okay, um, and remember to love yourself first because your self respect makes you more romantically attractive, and it does. Because if someone sees how you're treating yourself, okay, they're going to follow suit and they're going to know that um, you require, okay, certain things and that they can't treat you any less than how you are treating yourself, okay? Um, also, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart. So I feel like a lot of you have closed your heart off, okay? You could be in the nine of wands energy, um, and that is the energy of protecting your heart, protecting your emotions, not letting anyone get close to you. Well, the universe is saying it is safe for you to love, okay? Normally when I see this card, there could be new love coming in and you're not aware of it. So the universe is trying to tell you to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so keep that in mind. You could be blocking your blessings. Um, you could be blocking someone from coming in because, you know, this other person did not work out. Okay, um, whatever situation you was in, if that didn't work out, you know, that's not the only person on earth for you to be with, you know. So you have to realize that, that there's someone else that, are you know, is going to come in and this person could be good for you. But if you're blocking your heart off and you're not receiving um, the love that universe and spirit wants to send into you, then you could be missing out on someone great, okay? So you also have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yes, spirit is telling you guys that it's time for somebody to go, okay? Whoever this person is, they're gonna go. Um, because there was some deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So someone could be um, just being really sneaky. They could be you know, cheating, having you in a third party or lying to you, whatever the situation is, it's going to be different for everyone. Okay. Cause this is a general reading. So take what resonates and what doesn't, you know, leave behind, but the universe is saying it's time for somebody to go. Cause look how they have you feeling with the release your ex. It's like you're faint, you're tired, you're stressed out. You're not getting what you want or what you need from this person. I feel like for some of you that you're, you've, you've put so much into this and got so little out of it. And this is why you're feeling like this with the release your ex. This is why you're stressed out. Because I feel like you continue to give to this person or you continue to give to this connection and you don't receive anything. You're feeling depleted, okay? Um, so the universe is saying it's time. And you know, it's not gonna happen overnight, Gemini's, because you know, sometimes when people say, oh, you just need to leave that person and, and move on. You know, it's, it's easier said than done. It doesn't always happen that way. It takes time, um, you know, for you to walk away from something or walk away from someone for that matter. 
So I'm not saying it like it's easy because I know it's hard. I've been there, um, trust me, several times. And it's not hard, but you know, I feel like each time someone disappoints you or hurts you, you get that much closer to seeing who this person really is and that they don't have your best intentions at heart because if they do, they wouldn't continue to hurt you. They wouldn't continue to put you through things. Um, you know, they would think before they do something, something negative to cause you any type of pain, hurt, or sadness. Okay, so if they're not putting you first and they're not thinking about you, then it's time to release them. Okay, all right, so oops, that card flipped right out of my hand. <laughs> All right, so let's get into your reading and let's see what else the universe has to say about uh, your love life. And let's put these over here in case I need to refer back to them. All right, so we have the three of wands here, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the seven of pentacles. You have earth energy and fire energy here starting off this reading. And you have the three of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like um, with the three of wands, you could be waiting for someone to change and you're tired look at this card it's like this person is sitting here i'm just shining a light on it a little bit this person is sitting here like listen i don't want to continue to wait i've waited long enough nothing's changing things are the same or they're getting worse okay some of you could be dealing with the fire sign and aries leo or sagittarius or um, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. And this is how you feel about the situation. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you've done everything that you could. You've done everything you could think of. Okay, you see these little bubbles? Um, I feel like it looks like some type of science experiment or something. I don't know. I see like cylinders here. I don't know. It looks like someone was trying to come up with different ideas and different ways to fix their connection. And, you know, she's leaning or he's leaning on books because these cards are not gender based. So it could be male or female energy, you know, and you've read everything. It's like you've done your homework. You've researched like, what can I possibly do? I feel like some of you put in all of your time, your effort, your energy. Yeah, you have nothing left. There's nothing more that you can possibly do to make this work. It's like this person has to put in the energy or the effort or it's not going to work. It's just not. And I feel like that's how you have to look at it. Okay. Um, and some of you may be just that tired with the three of pentacles being in reverse where you're like, I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm leaving this shit behind. And I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. You're like, listen, I'm done here. Like, you know, even if you don't walk away, I feel like some of you are mentally tired and emotionally tired. And it's like, before you actually physically walk away from the situation, you're going to mentally and emotionally exit. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. So you have the hangman here, stagnant energy, Pisces energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We have the five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. And the nine of pentacles. Okay, so you feel alone. I feel like some of you are in a relationship or you're married or you're in a connection, but you still feel alone. It's like you don't connect with this person the way you want. You guys don't do nothing to, you know, you don't do anything, not nothing, but you don't do anything together. I feel like you're moving, you're moving one way. This person's moving another way. And you're like, okay, so are we together or not? Like, what are we doing? Like, why are you going in one direction and I'm going in another direction? And some of you, you don't you don't really want it anymore you don't want to deal with it the way it is or it's like you feel like things are never going to change with the hangman you feel like things are stagnant um you feel like this person is leaving you out in the cold or you could be leaving them out in the cold it's like or maybe the both of you are leaving each other out i don't know but whatever the energy is here you're feeling like you're alone so you're like okay well i might as well go at this alone if i'm alone like that type of energy um you're just feeling like, listen, you know, I'm just going to do shit on my own, basically. And you're feeling like you're very capable of just moving forward. Because I feel like you're just fed up with something here. So you have the devil. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. If you're not, you could be dealing with someone who has Capricorn in their chart. Um, Major Arcana serves as a person or a situation. Or you could just be in some type of toxic energy with someone. Okay, also keep in mind when the devil card comes up, you could have a sexual connection or chemistry with someone, but that's it. And you're like, that's all we have. I need more. This is not enough for me. 
for whoever that is resonating with. Um, we have the Two of Swords energy here. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this would just be your energy, um, Gemini, where you're confused. Okay, you're like, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Um, you know, one minute I'm going one direction with you and then the next minute I'm going the, another direction. And I feel like what you're looking for is you're looking to bring more of a balance to your love life and you feel like you can't do it. Not with this person. So we have the Empress here. Okay, so for some of you, you could be pregnant because this is the pregnancy card. This is also the nurturing card as well. So if you're not pregnant, don't get scared. I mean, I'm just saying for, for if you're pregnant, for those of you who are resonating with this card as a pregnancy um, situation, then you'll know who you are. But if not, you know, the Empress also indicates um, motherly nurturing person where, you know, I feel like for some of you, you're feeling like I'm always nurturing a situation, but I'm never getting anything back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to nurture myself. So I'm going to only care about me. I know my worth. I know what I have to offer. I know what I bring to the table. And if the person that I'm with is not willing to meet me in the middle or meet me halfway or whatever, like I just can't do it. I'm just going to focus on me. We have a hermit. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or you may have felt like a Virgo turned their back on you, Gemini, because we have the moon card here. This person could be keeping secrets. And we have the Ten of Wands. So something could be very burdensome with you in a Virgo, um, Major Arcana, or a Pisces with the Moon card here. But if you're not dealing with a Pisces or a Virgo, whatever the sign you're dealing with, this person turned their back on you because they have secrets. And you're trying to get them out of this. I feel like you're trying to get them out of this hermit mode. But this person is seeking solitude. They're trying to figure out um, what to do with their life. Or what to do with the connection or or a partner i feel like they're sort of um just needing to be alone they need some alone time to think things through that's normally what the hermit wants to do we also have the three of swords so you may feel like you know your love life is utter chaos right now like look at this person's office or den it's like Stuff is all over the place. Um, you know, think there's lightning striking outside of the window. You know, the curtains are blowing. So probably like the wind has kicked up and things are just not right. You're disappointed. You're sad about something. Could be a third party situation for some of you, not for all. Everyone is not in a third party situation here. But for those of you who are and you know about it, that could be why the Three of Swords is popping up here for you. And it's like Five of Swords energy. Like I got to win. Okay, I feel like if you're in, if you know about a third party situation that your partner has you in, you're like, not, not this time. You're like, no, mm -mm. I'm going to balance my life out with the temperance. Some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius, but if not, you're like, I'm going to balance my life out. I'm going to win this time around. I know what you're doing. I know what you're up to. I'm on to you and you're not going to win. You see how this person is tied up to a tree? <laughs> oh my God. Listen, I'm not laughing at your situation, but I'm laughing at the illustrations on this card. I love artwork. That's why I like, I live for artwork on um, several cards because sometimes it's like you really get where the person who designed the card was coming from. They could have been, when they designed this card, they could have been going through something and they're like, listen, you got me the first time, but you're not going to get me again. Like if you think that you're going to win this time, like I have the upper hand on you and I'm going to show you. Okay, so for some of you, you're feeling like, okay, you want to have me in a third party situation and you think I don't know about it, but I know about it and you're not going to win this time. This time, you're going to be the one that lose. Okay, so it's like you're trying to get ahead of what's ahead of something that you know or something that you think someone may be trying to um, take advantage of you. And, you know, they may be trying to deal with you and another person, but you're like, no, I'm not having it. I'm going to bring a balance to my life. If I have to do it alone by myself, I'm going to step away from whatever this is. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> So you have the full card here. So some of you, you're going towards a new beginning. I feel like you're going to take a risk and walk away from something or uh, someone. Okay. With the full card here, you, you're, it's time for a new journey. Journeys. I'm sorry. It's time for a new journey, basically. It's time for to go in a new direction. You feel like, you know, you've been beating a dead horse. <laughs> like, I've been trying to make this work. You know, it feels like I'm the only one trying to make this work. So now I'm not trying shit anymore, <laughs> basically. Okay. 
two of wands you have two of wands energy so there's a decision that you need to make about your love life but i feel like for some of you the decision has been made because you're tired of feeling betrayed and stabbed in the back some of you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign there's a lot of fire in this reading aries leo sagittarius um or someone with fire in their chart but with the ten of swords the two of wands i feel like the decision to walk away from this person was not made overnight it's like you've been see how this person is like sitting here and it looks like um they've been trying to figure out ways to make things better there's a lot of books here someone has been studying something or reading something going over something waiting for their ships to come in waiting for things to change like i'm just noticing things in the background in this card um because i pay attention to everything in tarot cards unfortunately but i'm just feeling like you you've been waiting and you feel like you've wasted time and maybe for some of you you feel like i keep waiting around for you to do something speaking about your partner in this connection i'm i keep waiting around for you to do something or change something and every time you stab me in my back so it's like now you're like screw you i'm gonna stab you in your back like we're gonna like i'm gonna win this i, I don't know i just feel like some of you are just dumb tired of someone and the reason why you stayed around for so long is because you love this person but it's like you don't i don't know i feel like some of you you may not even care about that anymore that may not play a part you may be falling out of love with this person gemini and if this is not you feeling this way this could be your partner if they're cross watching feeling this way about you okay so keep that in mind for those of you um who are cross watching so we have the magician card so this is your energy hopping up here manifesting something queen of swords i knew i was like when is i was like okay the queen of swords is gonna pop up here because we're talking about endings we're talking about someone standing up for themselves we're talking about someone who's tired who's irritated and you know once the queen of swords pops up in her reading it's like okay the it's time for the bullshit to end okay it's like we're not putting up with it anymore we're not dealing with it um yeah basically the queen of swords is someone who's like she or he no longer thinks when they appear they no longer think with their heart it's like intellect my mind it's like the mental okay it's like you know fighting head over heart but it's like nah i'm not thinking with my heart anymore because that didn't get me anywhere okay when i was thinking with my heart then i was in this ten of swords energy okay you were betraying me you were standing me in my back because i was letting my heart rule the situation well when the queen of swords comes in to her own reading or to his own reading then it's like no more thinking with my heart i'm thinking with my head i'm thinking with intellect and i'm going to solve the problem intellectually and not emotionally okay so that's where you are now it's like you're not um putting up with anything anymore someone could be watching you we have the page of swords here you could be dealing with a libra a gemini or an aquarius yeah you're wanting to end something or there's a cycle that's ending that you have no control over because we have the world card here old cycles ending new cycles beginning it's time it's time for something to change you know major arcanas are about change okay they're universal cards it's like you can't do anything when they show up in your reading whether upright or reversed you cannot change it it's not like a minor arcana where you can actually change the energy it's like what what is coming up here is what's going to happen you have the ace of cups so some of you can have new love coming in or you've met someone new with the ace of cups you could be head over heels for this person but you're just like you're trying to figure out because i did see the two of wands show up in the reading so it's like you're trying to figure out whether you should um go towards this person that's what i'm picking up on here for some of you you have new love here and you're like should i accept them you know will things be different in my love life this time if i do i feel like if you're walking away from someone gemini they could be watching you definitely because they feel your energy pulling away from them and they don't like it yeah we have the three of cups here so i feel like you could be meeting someone soon okay with the three of cups and like hooking up with this person um having a good time going out with them you know a lot of um states are opening up and um 
you know, lifting their COVID-19 restrictions. So some of you could be going out with friends and you may meet someone while you're out with these friends. Okay. The three of cups here, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. We also have the fourth cup. So some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But if not, somebody feels like they're going to have a missed opportunity with you. They could be sad about the situation or not sad. They just feel like, you know, I think, um, she or he may be serious this time maybe they're really walking away from me and there may not be a chance for me to fix this okay someone could be feeling that way yeah we have the five of cups some of you you're dealing with someone who is silently regretting what they've done to you feeling like they can't fix it or they don't know how to fix it it's like this person is trying to figure it out you see how there's cobwebs behind this person and everything is like they're um you know, they've been thinking, but they can't come up with anything. You know why they can't come up with anything? Because they screwed you over so bad for so long that they even know you should have walked away from their ass a long time ago. Like, whoever this is, they're like, shit, well, she or he should have been left my ass. Yeah, really. Like, for sure. They know it. So that's why they can't come up with anything they just feel like they're going to have a missed opportunity with you and that's it and they're not going to be able to fix it and there's a lot of regret there's a lot of remorse okay um i feel like this person is crying over spilled milk silently okay they may not be voicing this to you but um there's nothing that they feel they can do and you may even feel the same way you're like listen i need something new i need to move forward okay i feel like the universe even feels like you need something new in your life because the universe may feel like you've done enough with this situation you cannot fix it if this person is not willing to come in and do what they need to do to fix this connection there's nothing more that you can do gemini and if i was you i wouldn't even the hell try to be quite honest i just really wouldn't okay well, we have the lovers here Okay, so this is your card popping up here. So I feel like you're going to have to make a decision about someone that you have romantic feelings for, that you care about. You could have just met this person because the Ace of Cups is here, or you will be meeting this person, or you're already dealing with them and you just need to make a decision. And I just feel like um, the romantic side doesn't play a part in it anymore. You're like, screw caring about you and loving you. Like, I could give a damn about any of that. Like, you don't know how to act, so you got to go. Okay, but we have the king of cups here. So I feel like this person may not let you walk away easy because they're really emotional. They may try to offer you this cup again, knowing that this cup is empty and ain't shit in it. Okay, <laughs> like, but I feel like they're going to try to offer it to you anyway. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, because see, they're going to want the Ten of Cups with you, right? Or they're going to say they want this Ten of Cups with you. But it's like, I feel like they've said that before. And you're going to be looking at this person like, how many times you want to tell me that you want this damn ten of cups and do nothing to make it happen? Okay? Do nothing to make it happen, but you keep telling me you want this. We also have the six of cups here. So there's a lot of emotions coming up at the end of this reading. And this may be where you walk away from someone and they get really emotional about the situation and try to save the connection but you may be done, Gemini. And if this is not you, this could be your partner feeling this way about you. Okay, so take it how it resonates. But somebody, I feel like somebody is done and somebody's going to try to save it. Okay, somebody's going to try to save it and say they want this Ten of Cups. They want to reconcile. You know, you could have known this person for quite some time with the Six of Cups. They want to fix things. They don't want things to end like this. But I just feel like someone is just not, you're not having it. Okay, you're just tired, you're done, and you need something better. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading for me. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.